our team is smooth sailing. Uh, you can see the pun there. <laughs> and we're trying to address catheter flushing in the developing world. So right now, catheter flushing is expensive due to the use of disposables and high shipping costs of U.S. manufactured products going to these countries. But these catheters, if they're not maintained properly, you can uh, put your patient at risk of some really serious infections. So the idea behind maintaining them properly is that they should be flushed routinely with sterile saline. So what we're trying to do is make catheter flushing accessible to these low-income environments in order to improve the health care of those patients and decrease the risk of infection. We've designed the Easy Flush IV tubing set and it's modified standard IV tubing which a person would need if they're receiving IV fluids or medication and we've added three pinch clamps, a Y connector and a flush chamber and this allows nurses to flush through a catheter to clear it of medication or any residual blood that may be in it and help prevent infections. So we start with all of the clamps closed and to fill the flush chamber we open the top clamp and the clamp leading to the flush chamber. By gravity, um, fluid will move from the saline bag that's attached to the patient down into the flush chamber and fill it. And this actually takes less time to perform than manually filling a syringe would. After it's full, you close the top clamp, open the bottom one, and you can just squeeze the fluid through the IV tubing and to the patient. This project really hits home for me personally. I spent all of last summer working on a pediatric ward in Malawi and I actually did research on different injection procedures and actually observed catheter maintenance and actually it would be more accurate to say the lack of catheter maintenance. There essentially was no such thing as catheter flushing and the widespread rate of infection was startling. So for me it's pretty incredible to have actually gone to Malawi and seen the need for this device and now actually to be able to be designing something that is a workaround and that will allow um, care to be delivered in these countries.